All right, guys, so I'm here with Andy. What's up, guys? What's Check up, guys? Him out. You guys uh, saw him previously on the other video. He gave me a ride on his GT350R, and as you guys don't know, we were going to wrap his GT500, his S197, in a uh, color by KPMF. So uh, he ended up having a change of plans. He ended up selling the car. He's going to be finding something new, something super special. So he's still keeping it a secret yeah, at the moment. Keep it. I'll see you see soon. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. see soon. Definitely want to make sure to follow him because definitely uh, big content coming up yeah he's gonna have super wicked garage and you want to make sure to check him out but uh yeah so since he's not dropping the gt500 anymore check out what he's gonna be wrapping now his gt350r so as you guys saw last time he gave me a ride in this beast and this thing was crazy this is the so this is the gt350r not just your regular gt350 this is what we tried to replicate with our mustang and uh, this is the original one this is the real one this is the real deal with the carbon wheels carbon spoiler all that stuff and uh yeah this thing's a beast so he's gonna be doing a four wrap stripes protecting the paint on the car you know really good way to go and you know you customize it make your own with the wrap and this thing's gonna look super sick so he's gonna be coming in next week for the full wrap and uh yeah can't wait to see it so stay tuned for more content and yeah, i'll yeah. yeah, check him out for real because i trust only the best with the best appreciate so, it bro i'm telling you right now <laughs> These people will be blowing your minds with the next few raps they're coming out with. You heard them, bros. All right, man. Yeah, so stay tuned for that, and we'll see you guys inside the shop. We're going to finish up that GT500. We have a brand new 2020 GT500 there, almost ready to go home. The wrap is complete. We have a few small touches left to do to it, and then we have our next full wrap, which is this 2018 Mustang. We're going to be doing a complete color change on this from the magnetic to a gloss start gray we're gonna be showing you guys that color today we have it back there in the box so uh yeah a little quick overview of the gt500 we did the full wrap in the matte black at matte white so the customer wanted to go ahead and change up the color of the car without completely changing it and also protecting the paint at the same time so he went with the full matte white base so we wrapped the car in matte white and over that we installed some matte black accents to go ahead and tie it together and make it his own as you can see he also has red pin striping to go ahead and tie together all the stripes and uh yeah just make the whole build his own make it super unique and as you can see behind me the wrap is complete today this car is going to be getting fully tinted all the windows and getting a ceramic coating so that's in store for this one and we're going to go ahead and start disassembling this one getting it started for the wrap and he just finished up doing the tint he did the 35 percent all the way around and uh, yeah, these GT500 with the tint and the full wrap. Definitely tint makes a big difference on uh, on the car right away. Uh, it really changes things up, makes things much more aggressive on the cars. And yeah, so it has the visual looks to it and then it also has the, uh, the actual function for the window tint, which is, you know, protecting you from the UV rays and all that stuff. And then he went with 35%, so um, it's not too dark and you know, you're still able to see through it. You won't get too many attention from the cops like if you go limo tent and stuff like that. So 35% is definitely a good option if you don't want to get too much attention. And then from the rear, it looks like a factory tent. So, I mean, you're, 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 you're still pretty close to there. You don't get too much negative attention from the police. And uh, you definitely don't want it with this car looking like this and getting, you know, getting more attention and finding reasons for cops to pull you over. But uh, yeah, the tent's all done, ready to go. And uh, we're just waiting for the ceramic coating now. We got the GT500 in here. We got uh, Israel from Pro Dash Detailing. Yeah, check him out. He does uh, detailing, ceramic coating, all that good stuff when it comes to taking care of your vehicle, making sure your paint's protected. And uh, as you can see right now, he's gonna be ceramic coating the GT500. He's gonna be putting a coat on the entire car. We went, the customer went with his gold package. So he has different packages when it comes to the ceramic. So you can pick, uh, how many years what kind of package you completely customize uh their 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 services so you want to make sure you check out their page when it comes to uh ceramic coating and all that stuff they do a whole bunch of stuff so make sure to check them out he's going to be ceramic coating the entire gt500 so if you guys know we just did the full wrap on this and adding the ceramic coating over it especially over the matte white is what you want to do to go ahead and keep the white looking nice and clean like this
guys the GT 500 is complete everything is hundred percent done now now it's ready for pickup we finished up the ceramic coating today Huge shout out to Israel from Pro Dash Detailing for coming over and knocking this thing out and check it out it's pretty much invisible but it is a ceramic coating and that's the point of it it's pretty much invisible not noticeable and it's gonna go ahead and protect the matte white wrap and the matte black from staining and uh, yellowing all that stuff that usually happens with these wraps they're really hard to keep clean and uh, especially with the exhaust in the back so you know he still has some white going down all the way in the back back here so this is one area that is super important uh, when it comes to ceramic coating you want to make sure this is really clean because you know this is gonna extend the life of your wrap and uh, just keep it looking new for a lot longer and like I said he does have the lifetime package which is what this customer went with and this car is pretty much set for its entire life of the wrap and once the, once the customer is ready to remove the wrap he could just peel it right off and have the original paint ceramic coated so yeah the Mustang is complete we also threw on the window tin as you guys saw earlier 35% all the way around and uh, it just ties everything together you know the car is completely transformed for those of you that uh, don't know what the car looked like before it got here it was just a white Mustang with black accents so it had the black roof mirrors gloss black accents down here uh, gloss center and uh, gloss grill so we blacked out everything anything that was gloss we wrapped so every single piece every single panel on the Mustang was wrapped um, and yeah full transformation you know super unique GT500 definitely definitely not another one like this in the world to begin with and yeah at the moment these cars are super rare to come by and you know really honored to go ahead and have this here in the shop and you know take it to the next level and I feel like we did it and the customer is going to be really happy with it he did already see it so tomorrow he's just going to get be getting that final view we still got to throw on that next level banner on there last final touch on the car that's going to set it off so that's it for the gt500 it's going to be picked up tomorrow but first we're going to go out and get a photo shoot get some pictures of it some videos all that stuff get the proper content for the car all right guys so the gt500 is all ready check it out we threw the next level banner on we're going to go and do the videos and pictures and all that stuff so let's hear this beast turn on videos and pictures of the car before it goes home so yeah let's grab up pack everything up and let's go down there so guys we're in the GT 500 here with Manny we're going down to take pictures check it out uh, interior smells new um, but really real, real similar to a regular s550 you do got the Alcantara steering wheel with the airbag that has a Shelby on there center console is definitely different um, you can tell that this is a lot more uh, sleeker than the one we have in our cars. Just the shape to it is really nice. I like it. Cup holders, shapes all different. You got the little stripes here on the side. And then you got obviously the shifter here or the analog to select your uh, your gear. You got the e-brake there. Also, that's true. There's no more e-brake handle. So that's why it looks a little off. But uh, yeah, check it out. You got the carbon fiber dashboard digital dash one of my he's got the digital dash one of my favorite parts of these and uh yeah so this is a track so he has a, she has the i don't know if uh, at least in the si50s track packs come with the other pressure gauge there but maybe this is just uh standard for all these gt500s but yeah we're gonna go ahead and pull up to this spot real quick to go ahead and uh, get some content of the car so 
let's go get that all right guys so there it is we got the gt500 out on the road for the first time and dang this thing just looks insane this looks looks like a like a render again you know this thing is fully custom as you guys saw we did the gt500 style stripes on the side so um that's also got his own custom touch to it they're not just in one color they're tied to the rest of the team on his car but uh yeah let's go ahead and get some sick video so stay tuned and uh, hope you guys enjoy these videos we're about to get Alright guys, so we just finished up the videos with the GT500. The owner is here ready to see it and we're going to check out his other GT500 that he's dropping off for more work. Hey Gabe! Hey, how we doing? Good, good, good. It's coming up right now. We're just out down there getting some pictures of it. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, you're going to see it it's come right, right now. Here. It's going to come right now, yeah. Awesome. Sweet, I hadn't seen it yet. What's that? I, I hadn't seen your uh, oh, your S97 yet. Uh, this is the one I started out with. This is the Ploy. It's the one that I like to do half mile drag races with. Wow, wow, wow. All right, guys, check it out here. Gabe, the owner of the GT500. Cool. <laughs> with an S at the end. Take a look at them. His brand new one all done and his completely built one over there. Yeah, what's ironic is that the old one is faster than the new one. I could, yeah. I, you can already tell, you know, that. So you're used to the power? Used to the power, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, he built the motor on this one. This is his uh, track so that he takes out to the track and has fun with it. And uh, yeah, that's the real power maker right there, but that is not, uh, check him out. Yeah. That is, what a view. So guys, that's going to be it for today. We got a lot done today. Very uh, happy with you know all the progress we made. So uh, yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for all this content coming. A lot coming to the GT500. We have a lot of jobs coming in during the week. So yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.